Most laws are there to keep us all safe and to bring justice to victims of crime. There are some laws in Africa, dating back to colonial times, still being used to unfairly target marginalized people and create a spiral of consequences with enormous socio-economic drawbacks. This is John. He is 32 and has never been arrested until now. He has two children and a wife whom he supports by selling vegetables in the center of town. One day John sets up his onion and tomato stand in a new location, where he hopes to make a bit more money as his daughter Akeo is going to begin her diploma. So he moves his stand closer to the town hall, hoping for customers with a bit more money as it is also near the taxi rank. One day, the president of the country is due to make a speech at the town hall. The police are clearing the streets of undesirables such as beggars, street children, street traders and suspected sex workers. Relying on arcane bylaws, many traders and others deemed not to belong near the town hall are arrested. John has now been in prison for two months awaiting trial. Since in detention, his wife has had to borrow money from friends and family to pay for food and transport to the prison. Detainees receive only one meal a day and rely on food from their families. Akeo did not begin school as planned. She missed the registration date as there was no money to pay the fees. John's brother has taken his family in as they lost the room they were renting. The ripple effect of consequences of one arrest for a petty offense is often devastating, long-term and even permanent. Poverty is not a crime. Yet John was arrested because he was supporting his family and giving his daughter an education. What laws in your country are used to target poor and marginalized people? Let's work together to decriminalize petty offenses. Contact us for the tools and research that can help you to lobby your government for change.